Hi everybody! My book today is called Jessica's Box. It has been written by Peter Carvanas. Jessica's box. B O X. I see a little green bird. He's looking inside of the box. I wonder what's in there. Hmm. For my family PC. Jessica's mind was too busy for sleep. Her thoughts were already with tomorrow. And when tomorrow came, everybody was excited. <gasps> you will have a great time, said Dad. You're going to make plenty of friends, said Mom. Oh, wow, plenty of friends, thought Jessica. She was going to make sure of that. There's Jessica. She still have her books. See, she have her books over here too. At first, nobody noticed. See, she took her books to school. Everybody's playing and reading. But by lunchtime, a crowd of curious children had gathered. Jessica reached into the box. What do you think she pulled out of there? Hmm, let's see. What is it? A stuffed animal. Some children laugh. Hmm. Some tried not to. And other just walked away. What's so good about a stuffed bear? A small boy asked. Lots of things said Jessica. See over here, she's throwing the stuffed bear in the air. She looks like she's dancing over here. And there, it's on her head. Lots of things, she said. Hmm. Look at her face over there. Look at her shoulder. She looks a little bit disappointed. Maybe, huh? Jessica told mom all about her horrible lunchtime and how she didn't make any friend. You'll just have to try something else, said mom. There's mom over here. What is she doing? Does your mom do those exercises sometime? It's called yoga. Ooh. Look at Jessica. She's doing yoga on her bucks. There's her, her dog. And her stuffed bear. So after thinking it over with Doris, Doris is her dog, Jessica did try something else. What is she doing over here? She seems like she's mixing something. I wonder what is it going to be? <gasps> Cupcakes! Oh my goodness! What a marvelous idea! The hungry hands scooped them up and just as quickly disappeared. Not even a thank you. That's what Jessica said. Hmm, they all left so fast. Jessica and Doris thought even harder this time. And as Doris cleaned up the crumb from the box, a clever idea, crept into Jessica's head. She had a great idea again. Let's see. What is it going to be? Oh, what's her name? She's beautiful. Can I have a pat? Everybody wanted to talk to Jessica. It felt wonderful. It felt wonderful. But it didn't last. Within a minute, the school groundskeeper arrived. See, he's right there. And then he took Doris away. 
can bring dogs to school, he said, as he snatched Doris and drove her home. It was Dad's turn to talk to Jessica that night. They didn't say very much. What are they doing? See, she's sitting on his shoulder and they're just outside, maybe watching the moon. The following day, Jessica didn't take anything in her box. Mm -mm. She just wanted to disappear. There's a little boy coming by. He says, hmm, what's in that box? Found you, he said. Jessica peered out of the box. Now, he said, you have to find me. <gasps> Count to ten. Uh -oh. Is she going to count to ten? <gasps> Jessica wondered for a moment. Had she made a friend? What do you think? Did she make a friend? There was only one thing to do. What do you think she did? She counted. Yep, she started. One... Two, three, four, five. Look, what is he doing? He's running away. He's gonna go hide. At home, the family was delighted to hear about Jessica's new friend. Grandpa leaned in closer and he said, you must have had something very special in your box today. What did she have special in her box today? That was her. <gasps> Look at her face. She seems happy. She has a big smile. <gasps> Jessica smiled and said, I did have something very special. Oh, and now look, there's Doris. She made a house of the box for herself. And she's the end. Bye. Thank you, guys.